Hey, this is Randy Altman with Coast Perspective. We're here at Seagraph 2017, and this is Rory McGregor from Perspective. And um, you have some new stuff. So you guys work with, with everyone, which is kind of pretty cool. But why don't you talk about the latest integration for the show? Sure. Uh, and, and describe your products for those okay. that might not know. Absolutely. So uh, CineSync is a review and approval tool. It's, it's about synchronized review and approval so you can have live conversations with people anywhere in the world and be looking at the same frame of the same video at the same time. So we give people the confidence to be able to have discussions about you know, very small artifacts in, a, in, a, in an image and know that everyone's seeing exactly what you're talking about. So it's, uh, uh, we've been around for 10, 11 years now uh, and very kind of established in that remote review and approval workflow. Uh, and as a result of that, we've uh, started integrating with a number of different asset management, uh, project management platforms. We've had an integration with Shotgun for many years. Mm -hmm. uh, we've more recently added an integration with uh, F-Track, which we've just updated and we're uh, showing at the show on the F-Track booth. Uh, and we also have an integration with NIM, uh, which is new at this show, uh, which has been showing on the NIM booth. So, now you, you were saying a big part of that integration is um, automating the bid process, is that? So with, with NIM, uh, they're, they're a slightly different platform to F-Track and Shotgun in that they, they skew more towards uh, uh, bidding and, and managing costs during a show and it's, it's very adaptive. Uh, we still plug into the back end of that, which is more the project management side, uh, which is, I guess, the more traditional side of the, of the platform. Great. Uh, but yeah, it works much in a similar way to the way that Shotgun and, and F-Track work as far as the integration is concerned. It just means that... Anything that they want to review that's in NIM or F-Track or Shotgun, we can push out to CineSync, have a live review, rather than just leaving notes for someone for someone to find at a later date. You can have a live conversation, you can make a decision there and then, you can explain to people as you're going along the context of what you're talking about, mm -hmm. uh, and then anything that you draw, anything that you write during that session, we can save back to the platform that it came from. So we can save it back to NIM against the correct asset, the correct version, the correct daily, you know, to make sure that we're not losing any information uh, and that everything's saved. So, yeah, okay. it's comprehensive. So, I was going to say, how do you, um, what's your process in finding partners and who you're going to integrate with? Uh, it's, it's a bit of a matter of feeling people out and seeing how established um, a product is. I think with Shotgun, it was a no-brainer. We have a, a substantial crossover in our client list. Mm -hmm. um, when F-Track came out, they uh, were doing something that was similar but different. Uh, they, their approach to um, the product was a bit different. Um, and they were picking up clients in Europe initially, and now they're, they're picking up a lot more clients in America as well. Um, so again, we, we tried them out. We, we see how it works. We, we do a, a test integration and see how that flies. And if we like working with the team, if, if, if there's a good response, if we're getting a, a lot of back and forth with them, then mm -hmm. we'll go ahead. So all those teams, all those three teams have been very um, uh, collaborative yep. uh, and very open to, to doing things with us, which is nice. Uh, we, we like working with companies who aren't uh, to controlling of their own IP. I think that uh, products work better when they work well together. Sure. Rather than having to like use different things for different things. If, they, if you can flow through from one to the other without any barriers, then that's the way that we like to work. And I think most of our customers appreciate that as well. I'm sure, and you guys have been doing this for a very long time. So yep. have, how have you seen the industry change and also the needs of the users change over that time? Um, it's interesting. It's, it's the same, but it's different. So. At, at its core, the, the need to have a, uh, a conversation with someone on the other side of the world is still there. Right. You know? uh, the more that the, the big budget Marvel productions, now you've got 20 VFX facilities working on one show, uh, and a supervisor who's based in one location has to supervise all those 20 facilities and, and review. They're, they're reviewing like eight hours a day now, just constantly. Um, but they can do that in one place because of, of CineSync, of tools like Shotgun and F-Track, um, that allow them to have that central base but be able to stay completely in contact with everyone all the time and know exactly what's going on, everything's up to date um, and they're seeing the latest of everything all the time. So it's, uh, that's been really important but obviously security has become yeah. a bigger and bigger issue for the studios. Um, CineSync's always been secure by design because we don't handle the transferring of files ourselves. It, it, uh, it never comes through our servers, we don't see the files. We, we basically CineSync says there's a file at each end. We check the file hash to make sure that it matches at both sides. We don't know anything about the file. Um, so that, meant, that means that the studios are very comfortable with the way the CineSync works because it, there's no third party access that they, they don't know about. Um, however, we do integrate with a number of different transfer tools. So whether it's uh, pulling files from Shotgun or, or F-Track uh, cloud storage, uh, whether it's um, integrating with Aspera, 
we've, we've uh, released a new integration with the Spera um, fast specs at the show as well. Um, so that within the CineSync interface, you can upload your playlist to the other CineSync users, but using your own Aspera um, server. Oh, okay. So it's, it's not going through us; it's going through your own um, your own system that's already been approved that you're comfortable with. So that works really well. Uh, and we've also, with the new version 4.1, we've added uh, an encryption option. So you can encrypt the files before you send them via Aspera. They stay encrypted when they get to the other end. They're only de decrypted during playback in the CineSync session with the person that encrypted it in the first place. Uh, if that person's not there, then it won't play at this end. Uh, and then at the end of the session, we can delete the file off that computer. So we're not leaving files out in the wild. Sure. Um, which is particularly important at the beginning of uh, productions, where they're in the bidding process and they haven't got their whole sort of uh, workflow worked out yet. You know, that can get a bit loose from time to time. So the, the minimizing the amount of files that are floating around at the end of that, I think is, is very uh, important to people. Sure. And it's, it's, it's as much a peace of mind thing as anything else. They just want to make sure that there's, there's nothing, that they control everything all the time. Well, that and, makes sense, yeah. Yes, and as you've seen, you know, the last couple of days with HBO, you know, it, these things can get out into the wild if they're available. Yeah. So, so the, the more you limit that availability, the better off you are. And, and the happier, the happier, the happier everyone is. Yes. That's correct. Yes. Yeah.